Hey everyone, it's Cameron Moore here at Builder Brand. Today, this video is going to be going over how to add your ManyChat Facebook bot script uh, to your Builder Brand website. Now, before you continue on, uh, make sure that you have that Facebook business page already set up. You've already set up your Google Analytics account. And then we're going to go into how you can go inside and create a ManyChat account and also a Google Tag Manager account because we're going to have to add stuff through that. The first thing we're going to go over is creating a ManyChat account. Now the ManyChat is a system that allows you to create the automations that appear on your business page. So to even create this, you do need to have a business page. So what you want to do is go to the top right where it says get started for free. ManyChat is free. You can also go with the pro version and it's just $10 a month, which gives you a lot more capabilities. So go ahead and press get started for free and then follow the steps to connect your Facebook business page uh, with your ManyChat. Now I already have that set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just press sign in um, and you can also press sign in with your Facebook. So that allows you to easily just sign into ManyChat and then you can get started. Now, when you first get to your ManyChat backend, um, you'll notice that you have your menu over here on the left. And what we're going to go to is the growth tools. The growth tools allows you um, to build out a flow um, when a customer does something. So what you want to do is create new growth tool. And when you press create new growth tool, you'll see that you have all the triggers pulling up where you can choose what's going to happen, but we want to do the uh, messenger modal. So when you click that, it's going to then pull up and kind of create um, a generic uh, message that would pop up in the messenger once a customer sees that. Um, you can edit this, um, do whatever you need to, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to um, go ahead and move on. So once you've edited everything you like, um, you go ahead and just press publish and then back at the growth tools, it would appear right here in your growth tools. Now, make sure you give it a title um, because if you start creating multiple, you want to make sure that it has a title. Now, this is the one that I created earlier. And as you can see, you can get pretty complex um, with these, even like based off how the customer answers, um, you know, giving them a certain flow based off that answer. Now, once you've clicked on this, uh, you'll notice that it says install JavaScript snippet. So if I click that, that is then going to give me the ability to add my website um, as an authorized website, and then go ahead and press next. And it gives you the script. Now we're going to take the script and put it in a Word document because we're going to use this later on. Um, we're going to add that to our Google Tag Manager so that it appears on our website. So go ahead and press copy code to clipboard, open up a Word document, paste that in a Word document, and then go ahead and press finish. Now that we have the Facebook ManyChat set up, let's go ahead and create a Google Tag Manager account so that we can get an ID to put in the back end of our builder brand. So if you just type in Google Tag Manager into Google, then what you'll see is it gives you this URL, which is the marketing platform dot google.com and over here in the top right you can go ahead and press start for free um, once you do that it's going to connect with your google analytics account um, which is going to make it a lot easier to do quite a bit of things um, if you want to start getting crazy and do a lot of things with this you can and then once you go ahead and connect that uh, there of course are videos and even google has a step-by-step -step on how to do that you are going to be at the home screen um, for google tag manager and then right here, you'll see that there is a ID. Now, this is the ID that you're going to put into the back end of your builder brand. So if you go to your builder brand toolkit, go ahead and log into your builder brand toolkit, click your profile photo, go to profile settings. And under this part right here that says my website, you'll notice at the very bottom, it says website tracking and analytics. So if I click edit metrics, I can click the drop down and put Google Tag Manager. And this is where I can place that ID that appears right here. I can place that right there and then I'll press save. 
once you've done that, you're good to go. You don't have to add a bunch of script stuff. We've already done that. So that makes it a lot easier for you. So now we're going to build out uh, what this tag looks like uh, through Google Tag Manager. So the first thing you wanna do is press tags. Uh, when you're at tags, you're not gonna have anything here. Uh, these are just things I've set up on my website. And then you'll click new. Now you have tag configuration uh, triggering. You notice at the top, it says untitled tag. Make sure you click here, change the title. So I'm just going to put testing and then click tag configuration. Now over here, you have a lot of options, but the option that you wanna select is custom HTML. So this is going to bring up the HTML where you can throw in a script. Now, earlier I told you to take that ManyChap script that you copied your clipboard, put it in a Word document. Now you want to take that and add it right here. So you'll go ahead and just add your Facebook ManyChat script right here. So right click and press paste, or you can go ahead and click Control V if you're on a PC. Now, once you've done that, just go ahead and click this option, which says support document right, and then scroll down. You don't need to play with advanced settings right now. You can later. Um, on triggering, this is where you're like saying where you want this to display. Um, we're going to put it on all pages. Now you can uh, go in there and exclude certain uh, pages or have it just appear on one page, but we're going to have it appear on every single page. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and press save. Now, when you press save, it is going to uh, bring you back to the tag screen here in your Google Tag Manager. And you'll notice testing is right here. Now, it will not actually appear on my website until I press submit. So once you've done that, you want to press submit. Now, I have already created it, so I do not want to add that um, because it's already on my website. So what it looks like when it's on your website. Down here at the bottom, it's going to ask the customer um, to sign in, like continue as. Um, so I'm going to continue as Cameron, of course. Now, earlier, I kind of started the process of how my flow was working. Um, now, right here, it shows it's welcome and then allows the customer to kind of walk through this journey. So uh, if yours is just as simple as saying, hey, welcome to the page or, hey, how can I help you? Or maybe you're just getting their information, which, of course, you know, because on Facebook, um, you do that however you want. Mine is a little more in depth. Uh, you can get as crazy as you want. And so that is how you can add your Facebook main chat script to your builder brand website. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. But again, everything that you'll need to know how to do this is in this video. And of course, I do have other videos showing you how to create, you know, the Facebook uh, business page, also creating the Google Analytics account. So go back and watch that. If you do have questions that are maybe more advanced, I need help on that. I didn't go in this video. Please let me know. I'd be happy to go over that with you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.